Hey y'all, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brittany. If you're already new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're not, welcome back. So today I want to make this video because a lot of y'all saw me on Pop the Balloon. So I was on Pop the Balloon episode nine on our Let's YouTube channel. And I just wanted to come on here and just make my video, my experience and everything, and just talk about a few things. So if y'all interested, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, leave a comment and a like. So initially when I first saw the show, I saw it on TikTok and Facebook going viral. And I thought that show was super cool and whatever. And it had me hooked right away. And then I realized that they were actually located in Arizona and that's where I live at. So I had a friend um, let her friend know that I was interested and that's basically how I got on the show. He called me, talked to the producers and he, they let me know, okay, we're gonna have you come on this day, blah, 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 ask me what kind of guy I like, so forth and so forth. So the day I get to the shoot or whatever, I was very nervous, I'm not gonna lie, very nervous. This was very nerve wracking for me. I've never done anything like this before. So I didn't really know what to expect, but everybody was cool. Um, all the girls were nice. Everybody that was on their production team was really sweet as well. Arlette was really nice in person, just as she is on video, same personality. So I wanna get into basically once y'all saw everything, the very first guy, uh, Emeka, um, his reasonings for popping my balloon, I guess Arlette asked him to pop two people balloon and just based off of appearance, attraction, whatever you may have. And he popped mine first and then another lady. And his reasoning for mine was because he said he likes more slimmer girls and darker skinned women. And he also stated that I was the lightest one on the, the panel, which was not true in my head during the time I should have said that, but I really was not thinking because I didn't realize, oh, it is another, it's like two other girls lighter than you. I was not the lightest person on the panel. Um, and also the girl that he, he matched with was also lighter than me and was thicker than me. So none of what he was saying made any sense. You know, after I watched the show, she's a very beautiful woman in Australia, very beautiful, but it just, his reasoning didn't make any sense. And I was reading all comments I know everybody was saying he wanted to girl in a red dress. After I like watched it, I'm pretty sure he did. You know, his whole demeanor changed right after she popped her balloon. Um, so I was just like, you know, when I watched it back, I had a few people hit me up and was just saying like, that was just dumb of him. He didn't make any sense. They didn't know why he didn't choose me. I was gonna pop my balloon anyway, um, fun fact, because of the age difference. I kind of just wanted to hear what else he was gonna say. Uh, but I was not going to match with him. I already knew that from the beginning. I thought he was very handsome, but I'm 28, he's 40. I, we don't have anything in common, like not even in the same generation. Like, no. <laughs> Next, um, let's talk about the guy I matched with. His name was Philip. Now, when I saw, first saw Philip, it was like, to me, it was immediate attraction as soon as I saw him. Like, I knew I wasn't gonna pop my balloon unless he popped his on me first, so. Um, you know, me and him ended up matching and we were matching in color. Like we both had on like a sage green type of color and, um, you know, everything was good. You know, we matched and after that, the show kept going. We talked behind the stage, behind the scenes and stuff. And we were just kind of getting to know each other and stuff. And yeah, y'all, I know y'all are here for it to be on that date. So I really wouldn't call it a date. I would say it was more of, I feel like, I feel like he felt pressure that he had to go out with me. So we went out somewhere. Um, because right before we were, everybody was getting ready to leave. One of the producers came up to me like, hey, go out with him. Why are you not gonna go out with him? To the bar or whatever. And it was like 11, it was almost 12 o'clock at night. After, once we finished rolling, like finished all the, the filming. And so it was about 12 a.m. And, uh, I was like, you know what? Okay, I can go. Like, I'm already out. I might as well just do something. It, it's it's not that big of a deal. So I ended up going out with him. We went out to a bar and actually we met up with one of the other matches, Nova. And I can't really remember what the other guy name was, the bald head guy. 
Um, and like me and him, we just chopping it up, getting to know each other and stuff like that. And yeah, so once we left, he did say like he would like to do this again and he would like to see me. And I'm like, okay, cool. We can see each other. That's perfectly fine. Like I, I, I really, I did want to get to know you. Like I, I was putting myself out there. That, well, that's what I thought I was like, putting myself out there to try to get to know somebody because I'm single. Like that's what you have to do to get in a relationship. Um, so the next day go by, I didn't hear anything from him. And like when I woke up, I didn't see no messages. It was no good morning. It was no like kind of communication from him. So I ended up texting on my behalf and just saying, hey, good morning. Hope you have a good photo shoot because he told me he was doing a photo shoot on Cinco de Mayo. So he was just like very dry in conversation, like very dry. And I was just like, something ain't right. So the next day, Monday going around, didn't hear from him. Uh, the next day coming around, the show drops and he texted me like, hey, you know, the show drops. Are you getting a lot of messages? Blasey, blasey, blasey. Just like talking about stuff that kind of really does not matter. I feel like, you know, I'm just trying to figure out why I'm not hearing from you. Like, why are we not in communication? Like, why are we not talking about what we're going to do next? Like this next, this the actual date. You know what I'm saying? Where I can actually sit down and get to know you without loud music. Because I feel like going to the bar was not a date. Sorry. Um, and then, um, yeah, after that, he just stopped responding. <laughs> he was just, he just stopped responding. So the next day, it was Wednesday. I was just like fed the fuck up at this point. And I was just like, okay, I'm going to text him just to see like, okay, do you still, are you still interested in getting to know me? We matched on the show. Like, I, I don't really feel like you're, you know, I, I don't want to waste time. I don't want you to waste my time. I don't want to waste yours, but let's go ahead and like, like, let me know something because it's, it's like now I'm like, it's four days after the show and I have not really talked to you. And he basically said what I kind of already thought he was going to say. Um, basically, oh, I'm beautiful and I'm a great woman, but he felt like the girl in the red dress was more the type of woman he was looking for at that time. And he felt immediate remorse from popping, for popping her balloon. And I was just like, yeah, you could have just communicated that. I feel like just not saying anything, like you should have just said that the next day. Like, and to be honest, like, you know, he was just like, I didn't want to cancel on a date. But I'm like, nobody forced you to take me on a date. Like nobody, well, it wasn't even a date. Nobody forced you to take me out to a bar to get one drink. Like, that's what I'll say. I don't want him. To, I, I was feeling like he was just like, you know, not being accountable for, you know, wasting my time. Like making me feel like, you know, we didn't have to get each other's numbers. It was like, it was really no need for all of that. Like. It was no need. Like, I understand you all have your preference, but it's also in the sense, like, you didn't even have to pop her balloon. You could have just kept it. Like, you could have popped mine. Like, it is what it is. Like, you could have just popped it. It's not that big of a deal. Like, and I just want people to understand, like, you know, I'm not even mad, but it's me. For me, it's more of a principle. It's like the principle. I need you to understand, like, you don't have to move that way. If you're not feeling somebody, just do it. Like, don't go and recant what you just, you know what I'm saying? What you just said. You just popped the lady balloon which, when you really wanted her. And that's what I'm saying. I don't know if it was an attraction thing. And that's what I'm saying. She's a very beautiful lady. But I also know that I am very beautiful as well. And I am very deserving. Um, and that didn't make me feel any less. You know, him telling me he would have rather picked her, which is fine. Like, like I said, very beautiful lady. And he was a nice looking guy. But there, there is no real like update. Like we're not moving forward with anything. And I just told him good luck. And that was that. I really don't have anything else to say. Like, uh, and he also said like he wish he wouldn't have popped my her balloon because he could have gave me an extra another chance at finding somebody else on the show. Like, and I'm like, yeah, that would have been nice. You know what I'm saying? I could have got to know some of the other guys. You know. Um, and I would have been there for Dr. Elam's speech. <laughs> and he's actually a cool guy off of camera. I just know he just, when he get on that camera, he's just, he's being himself. And a lot of people don't like it, but um, he has great conversation. I actually got to talk to him behind stage and, you know, he was, he was pretty cool, you know? Um, and I do wish him, you know, good luck and whatever he wants and hoping he finds whatever he wants. Um, but yeah, that's basically it, y'all. Um, would I do it again? 
I don't know if I would. If I do, I think I would rather not be on the lineup and just one of the girls that come out, you know. So I can more control the conversation and, you know, it's me really picking and like they picking, but I'm also picking as well. Um, so yeah, that's, I feel like that's what I would rather do next time. Just be one of the ladies that come out instead of standing on the lineup. Um, but it was a fun experience. Uh, I appreciate all the love. I've been getting a lot of messages and I appreciate y'all. So make sure y'all, you know, subscribe to my channel down below. And yes, y'all, I'm single still. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm single still. And I'm trying to put myself out there. You know, I know having a, uh, a healthy relationship takes time. I don't want to rush, rush into a relationship. But, you know, it would be nice to have, you know, a companion sometimes. But it's no rush because I want a great partner, somebody that I can grow with and we you know, we build to better things. So yes, y'all. So thanks for watching. And if y'all want to subscribe, let me know what y'all want to see from me. I really appreciate it. All the love that y'all left me in my inbox on Instagram. I appreciate it. And I'm gonna leave my Instagram down below and also my TikTok where y'all can follow me. And until next time, bye y'all.